Right, right. What did I not? Today I'm set up to do a couple of little speed paintings, or at least one speed painting. Um, I'm just sort of deliberating right now how to how I'm going to do this. So I've got so I've printed out two cat faces, and I've got two surfaces. And I, so I put one on both differently, or I could just put one on one. I'm trying to decide whether to, you know, pop it on that way, could pop it on that way, in the middle there, or could put that one on that way, or do the whole thing that way, because it does fit to scale. And then I've got, I've got the question of whether to, you know, well, there's so many questions really at the beginning of a painting. I've kind of, kind of got an idea what I want to do, I think. So, when you start a painting like this, um, you know, you can often people, and I do it myself sometimes, is trace the image off on if it's to scale or project it on or grid up the surface and put it on so if you do do that um, that gives you a good a kind of boundary to work towards which is interesting so I am actually going to trace one of them up here and then I'm going to paint one freehand so I've got some carbon whoops, I've got some carbon tracing paper. I'm gonna trace I think I'll trace um, uh, I think I'll trace this one onto here with the tracing paper. So I might just do that. Where will I do that? I'm gonna do that over here. Just go. It's pretty easy to do, so if I just put this here. If I just put the image onto the paper and level it up, well, even it up pretty well somehow. See how that goes. I'm just going to use the back of a paintbrush to just trace the thing on. Um, the eyes where they go, the nose where it goes, the mouth and the chin. Let's see how that one goes. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, like it's, you know, it's just that. So I've got an outline of this cat here. So I could work to that, and that's that's kind of interesting sometimes because because you've got lines to stick to 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 sort of inform you with those first marks, and those first marks are pretty important. Whereas if you go in freehand, you're not confined to the marks. So if I go in freehand, I can just sort of make a big scribble and I'm not afraid to go over lines or anything like that, just initially. So, sup, hello there. Oh, how do I pronounce that? Hello, anyway, hello SP. Um, I am going to paint these cats kind of quickly and I'm, what I've done is I've just 
trace that one onto there and I'm going to freehand that one onto there just because they're two different ways of starting a painting you know one you've got the outline to kind of keep your marks in place and the other one you've got to find where you go where you draw it freehand and so you're not afraid to go over the line so I figured it might be a good little test to try so I'm going to just start with this one freehand now if you can see the lines there, I've just used carbon paper and put, put these lines on. I've got some medium here and I've just got some tinted gesso, some orange tinted gesso. So this is this is to scale and I think if I, if I paint it that way, fit in the middle here. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going, I'm not even, I'm just going to chuck it on like this. Oh, okay, so a little bit of this here, here, I've got a chin down here, it's, it's going to sit fairly big on my, I'm gonna make, I'll make it bigger, I'll make it bigger, so those eyes are a bit high, that's okay, I'll just grab another brush, a little bit of a scrubbing brush here and some water and I'm just going to take some of that off. Oh no, drip. Uh oh. Wow, oh, that, this that's a good thing though about this. You can just use your drips. So moving those eyes down a bit. That's better. Nose here, mouth, inside of ear. That's a bit better. So I'll just put in those features a bit more with this shit with this orange. I should have actually I should have done the same. Maybe I could have done the same cat on both. Both the traced one and the not traced one. That might be interesting. Hmm. But anyway, let's go over some lines a bit. Take out the brush as well. I've got brushes everywhere. I've got them up here. I've got them down here. And yeah, so well, I'll take some of my white. So that's roughly where that one is. So this one is the trace. I wonder if I should go into that now or later. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to build this one up because it's a bit of fun. Fun for now and see how we go with it. Put the eyes in. I've got, so I've got some leftover paint. Or do I use some other paint? Or do I use both and I need water? So this morning I wasn't very organised. Well, I sort of was a bit organised. And I decided to um, kind of half set up as I'm going here. So I'm getting getting paint out. So this kind of yellow ochre, that's the kind of colour I use a lot of rather than strong yellows because I, I find that um, strong yellows can be a bit loud. I'm going to mix that with a little bit of green to begin with for his eyes and maybe a bit of brown too. So put a bit of green, I've pre-mixed out this kind of green. I'm going to put those eyes in. One of the first things I start with pretty usually is eyes. I just, I just like putting them in place because um, then I've got something I can talk to. I like talking to my characters as I paint them, these little characters. Um, because then they, then they get interesting, I think. And it's a little bit crazy, but um, that's what I do. So I'm gonna use some darks in purple. And I'm just gonna put the pupils in. Like I'm not, I'm really not that fast initially get of making mistakes. Like I quite like to make mistakes at the beginning. 
because it creates a little bit of interest. And while I've got this on my brush, that's, I'm using a bit of medium to thin it down as well. I'll just put that there. These nose holes in, a bit of this. Find where that mouth goes. that way. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to um, put a bit of red, a bit of something that says some tone on the top of the head. Yeah. Oh, I've got green on the brush. Should I zoom in? I'll zoom in a bit close so we get some Done. I've kind of connected my. Well, I went into Twitter and put and tried to connect my Twitch profile to that. I can't connect it through Streamlabs though. So I was. I just sort of. I don't know. Have because there's no way you can. Well, I don't know if you can chat on here or answer questions except when you're live on here. I'm not sure. So I thought I'd open that place which which it was a social media thing I didn't use a lot of actually um, in the past but maybe I'll I'll swap over. It seems to me that Twitch works well with um, Twitter and Facebook works well with Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of colour for the inside of the ear. Just going to put a bit of colour down. Just because I can. And I'm going to put a bit of... Well, it starts off looking like a little bit of a mess, actually. But that's okay. Oh, I'm not too fussed. This here, we'll do that. There, okay, good. Wipe my brush. Starting a painting, you know, I was, I was thinking I might start fairly loose, but it looks like I'm going in thick straight away. So I think I'm going to go with thick. Going with thick paint um, tends to be good for speed painting, I reckon, for me, with acrylic paint, which is what I'm using here. So it's a good kind of thing for that. Now I want some, I've got some old paint too from, some leftover paint from my last project. So I'm using that as well. Nothing much is wasted around here. Okay, so that blue might go on down here. And then I've got some stuff happening down here. So I think I need some brown on my palette. A little bit of brown on my palette. Uh, hmm. So I've got some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is a warm brown. A favourite at the moment. Um, I use umber a lot too, which is a kind of cooler brown, a more grey brown, but this sienna is, I think, will work well with the orange in the brown part of the camera. So I'll wash my brush and take some of that with some yellow and orange. And I'm going to put, sort of shape this ear a bit here, so I've got some kind of colours coming
Yeah, I, I think I prefer the freehand. Well, I suppose it's what I'm painting. But this painting freehand rather than having the restriction of the um, outline is kind of nice. some shadow in down here because he's got a white a white kind of chest and happiness okay so now I can go into that nose a little bit a bit of a pinky nose put that on now pink mixed with my brown well it's not actually pink I'm using magenta though so I'm going to put that in there like that and then I can come in with some white I need some white so I'll take some fresh white out of my look at this just so white I'm using that because it's handy I'm just going to shape out under the nose here so I'm going to just shape that out like that. I'll take some light into yeah, it's a postman. Mr. Postman. Then that can come down that way. And that can come down that way. And that will go get a little highlight there. Like that. Ooh. Gray this underneath bit like that. Okay, some orangey brown down the middle here. Take some medium orangey brown through the middle. Oh, I might, I might actually come up. Do I now? My problem is, I think, do I need to drop those eyes down a bit or not? Or no, I could probably bring. No, no, no I think I'm alright. I think I'm okay. And it's not uncommon to make a few little mistakes at the beginning. It would be very easy to drop them a little bit. So I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to, I'm going to drop the eyes just a little bit down. Actually with my dark scene purple. And then down just a fraction like that. So make that a bit lower. That's better. I like that better. That gives me a slightly more sinister looking view here okay all right cat you'll start speaking to me soon i hope okay which means now that i've done that i want to go back into the eyes with some green i think so where's my little tub of the little pot of here it is this color so the nice little green I'm going to take some of that and mix it with my yellow oxide. To just reshape this a little bit. Do the minimum. I always like to do the minimum. So just do enough to bring me to the next stage. No. I think that's sort of. Um, my method. So I'm dropping that part of the eye down now, and this one. Yep, and then I can lift that bit up. I've got you there. I'll take some brown shadow into there now. 
purple again. Got two palettes here I'm working from. Oh, hi, Jet Dickin. Hello. Hello. Getting a little bit of, trying to do a fast kind of cat painting. Well, I sort of, well, deviated from my plan, but that's okay, because I do that sometimes. Whoa. Okay. okay. So I've lowered the eyes a little bit. Hello. I just lowered those eyes. They were a little bit too high when I started this. So now I am going to just chisel, put in these in this way and that. This is a thick kind of style of painting I'm doing here today. Nice thick paint, acrylics, just kind of getting this in place before I put some more detail on and stuff. Looking lovely so far. Bit of a mess, but yeah, thank you. It, it'll, um, it'll evolve soon into um, an interesting looking character, I hope. We'll see. Well, it should. Well, that's the plan. Bit of a plan. Let me just put some hair up there and a bit of hair up there. Light down here. Now I'm thinking, what am I meant to do? I'm going to just. Oh, I didn't mean to have that. But that's okay. I think I want to get these eyes down a bit more soon before I continue. So I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight there and a little bit of a highlight there, which will help me even them up a bit and I'll get some light yellow with some white, more white in there. It's a little bit of fun. It's kind of style of painting. Oops. Wash my brush, make sure I've got what I want on my brush. Some light on there, down there like that. So now, some cool, I need to cool down my white, I can see. So I'm just pretty much putting on some paint and then fixing my mess at the moment. Which is such an interesting way to work. Maybe some light down here like this. Hmm. Okay, more tone in those eyes. I like to um, get the eyes sorted fairly early on and I can keep coming back to them too. And I have a few layers, I think, the eyes do. And then I can, I'm going to have to get some, I'm going to get some, this colour out that I I bought the other day, where is it, it's a beautiful, oh, this one, this colour, such a stunning colour, so I'll put some of that on my palette, because I want some of this, I replaced a more purpley version of it on my palette the other day, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I was pretty happy with the other colour too, but this one is okay, so I'm going to use a bit more of this. I'll put a bit of this uh, tone up here through here, so we can a little bit on the nose there, I think, a little bit there as well. Now, what do I need to do with the mouth? I'm going to raise the mouth up a bit because I think it's a bit long, a bit low. So I'm going to raise that mouth up with some dark. I'm going to do the dark on my brush and that little brush again. I might have to grab some clean water. So if I put 
the same bit on the here. And I'm gonna grab it up to about there. I'm gonna put those nose holes in. We might just do a little bit of a outline for the nose there for the neck. And bring that down that way. Pick some of that nice bluey colour with a bit of white in it. To make a grey and I can just put some that there and that there. And a bit here. Mix it with a bit of brown on my brush. And take it down there a bit. And down here. Down here. And a warm, oh, getting a bit dark here. We'll just make some funny noises with my. Yes, I do talk crap sometimes, but. Well, I do. I'm talking to myself. Oh, it's, a, it's a funny thing talking to yourself. Okay, so now, um, so we want some, something right there, right there. So I'll take some of my yellow oxide and a bit of Naples yellow and some white, I think, and maybe some light purple to cool it down a bit. So I've got, where, where, where is it? Ah, so I've got some of this colour, which I will also put on my palette now. This is a really good mixing colour. I like this colour for mixing. So I mix, I mix it into other colours, like I mix it into yellow to give me, like I put a little dot in a, in a bright yellow paint and it just takes off the heaviness of that, the harshness of the bright yellow. Makes it, and lightens it at the same time because it's got white in it. So it's, it's something I do a lot of. In my work, and then right down here. Yeah. And we'll take a bit more yellow into that colour. One day I will get another camera and point it onto my palette because I think that's also pretty interesting to look at, but I haven't quite got there yet. I need to figure that one out. We'll put that there. And these will help make um, the whiskers as well. And that comes out there a bit more. And we'll have a tiny hint of that there. Now these, you know what? You really, you really look at, you know, you get to know something, the detail of something when you paint it. I'm putting a bit of that purple into my brown now, which actually makes a kind of nice dark for this side. So how big are these ears? Let me come up there. And this one. Hmm. Okay, so what's wrong with this now? More dark. So this bit of the head goes behind the ears. Maybe that ear's a bit wide there. Wipe that off my brush. And I'll bring that ear this way a bit more. I think he's only a kitten, so he's, he's got pretty bright. He's got pretty big ears. It's like little children have big heads compared to their bodies. They do. I need to chisel out some of the background to shape the side of his body. And so um, I've got to choose a colour for that. Sometimes it's a matter of just taking any old colour and chucking it on to begin with. So I've got some of this sky blue left over and I'm putting it on my brush and it's mixing with some purple to make a weird colour. So I'm just going to use that. Kind of grey, it's got a bit of a grey colour. I'll just chisel that side of his body there like that. And I can always change that later. And that comes around there like that. And then that 
Yeah, it really goes out. So there we are. Using that side. Well, I could do it on the other side too. Just put it there. Put it there. I'll put on my Bob Ross voice here. Oh, while well, well, I've got it, I might brush. I will go like this across the top. going to do those ears. Hmm. Maybe a bit rounder on the top. And if it goes that way. So now I want to... Which bit do I want to work on next? Okay, I know. Work on the bits that are bothering me. And have a sip of coffee as I go. So what time did I start? So I started at nine, or oh, just after nine thirty, actually. I think. Um. Okay, I'm going to bring some of this back through here now. And I want some of that yellow body color in that ear of the front there and then that rounds up here and we'll get a bit of an edge there and I need some pink in that ear so I'm looking at what I've got on my other palette which is a mess from the other day you can see it's a real mess but I'll just take some of the pink off of here now what was that? Oh, I was painting roses wasn't I and I'm going to put this into the ear yeah, because this cat has got some pink in its ear. And then it goes more blue as it comes over. So we we'll got that. It might be a higher, slightly higher ear. And it darkens down as it comes across. So I'm going here like that. And like this here. Constantly just reshaping it and I'm gonna put the edge on that ear too, which is sort of browny orange. And I've still got a pretty big hello gamer. Hello there. Hello B <laughs> on this cat, yeah. Today I'm painting a cat. And I don't I do I actually paint a lot of cats and I don't paint them because my name is cat, but I paint them because I like cats. And my name is Kat because it's short for Catherine, actually. Um, so, uh, right, one ear and the other ear is a bit low. Thank you. Thank you very much. Catherine, indeed. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get these ears in the right spot right now. Before I add a bit of detail, I'm going to do a top face, eh? For names? Hmm. Okay, some orange here. Still got a fairly big brush here. I'm using a bit of a big brush, and I and I I need to lighten up that ear a bit. Just said I'd do a bit of fun, something fun and quick. I like quick sometimes. I think I need more white on my palette. Uh, yes, I have a tattoo. It is a. Where is it? It's a. It's a. 
it's an Einstein, part of an Einstein equation formula for the black hole, believe it or not. The black hole. I don't really know what it means, to be honest. I've forgotten. I kind of looked it up when I got it. And then it was quite a long time ago. And then I sort of forgot. Which is what you do when you do these things. Became less important, I suppose. some detail here. Now I'm going to, before I make too much of a mess, this bit in here, what do I need to do to fix this? <laughs> that is fucking amazing, isn't it? Mm. Thank you. Well, I'm going to put some more white paint out. Uh, you know, <clears throat> cool's weird, isn't it? Like, I, I think I'm a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a nerd. I think I'm shy, but I'm not. Like a, like I get it. I do get a bit. I do get a bit embarrassed. It's weird. Like I like. I really like painting. Um, you know, for an audience. I've I've done it a bit. In real life, like I mean, in public. And it's so, it's so funny. Like, it's hard to paint and talk and really concentrate and um, you know not talk shit which is what I can do so oh so um, no is what's your first language then because I, I actually I only speak English my dad um, is Slovenian and he speaks five languages actually but we never learn any languages except for English because my mum she's she speaks English she's she's Australian my mother is she's um so we had to speak Australian or English. <laughs> Put some more dark in that line. Well, go back to the eyes. When in doubt, go back to the eyes. I mean, you already know where I'm from. Is that, so that is, is that sp Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? M Mexican. Does Mexico, Mexico have its own? Now here I'm going to show my ignorance, aren't I? Have it, have it. Yeah. <laughs> Mexican. Latin. Yes. Do you, yeah, I remember you. You um, you're from Mexico. And I guess you speak Spanish. Spanish, yeah. Yeah. There's some words in Spanish that are a bit like Italian, isn't there? Like, like grazie. Grazie. <laughs> I would watch it on my Aussie accent, terrible, you know, terrible, and try to speak um, other languages. Got to cool that view down. 
make it a bit more green so I'll take some of this up here some of that there I'm having a bit of fun here with this see what happens with it that down there a bit more drag that across there into the nose oh I need some white speak out I guess it's yeah it's not poetry isn't it except um, with vision visual poetry actually I do call I do think it is like visual poetry painting because I was thinking you know like as a performance painting as a performance like you know is that kind of what this is I wonder I wonder like if because you know like you sort of think how am I gonna what am I gonna do for this for this twitch thing because I really I'm enjoying it I want to kind of keep doing it because it's sort of it gives me it's very I find it inspiring so and then you think what should I do and I was thinking maybe it's like performance art <laughs> in a way pull this one down here Performance art. Um, now I'm, I'm referring to my image there, so as well. I forgot my glasses again. I'm so used to not painting with glasses, and then I, sometimes I think I need them to um, look at the screen, you know. But oh. I shall just persevere. Hmm. Yeah, I do making, I do like, I enjoy making content. I really do like, enjoy, yeah. And this is enjoyable because um, I, while, I, while I'm actually making the content, I'm making content. <laughs> so I'm making content while I'm making content which is um it's like a it's like a bonus isn't it then so <laughs> that's the plan so <laughs> make content and make content it is fun to do too like i love i do really enjoy painting just the process of painting is so enjoyable it's really what's you know what it's all about so sharing that and and the but the normally and that's the interesting thing normally the process you don't sort of share that because you can't because you're working on your own all the time but now with with a platform like this twitch um you can sh share that process too I was thinking about that earlier. Um, not only shared, well, the process, but like, um, you know, you can get things like time-lapse painting, which, um, but you miss out half of it. Like I love watching time-lapse painting and I've made a few time-lapse things and you can see the process really fast, but it's almost too fast sometimes, I think. Um, and you miss some of the really interesting things that happen as you build a painting up from scratch. Okay, so now I'm going to go around here. Also, yeah, and I also looked at that at that um, affiliate thing because I was wondering what that was about and that's 
So what that is, because I think you were asking as well, is um, you get a certain amount of viewers and a certain amount of followers or something, and then you, you do a certain amount of hours, and then you get kind of, I think, some kind of extra widgets or something, whatever they are. And um, some perks or something. So I'll, I'll look at that. They like you get notifications too. So I've had a few notifications of like, you've reached this smile, you've reached this goal. I'm not exactly sure what those goals are. Oops. Okay. Now, what next? Um, one eye is too high and one eye is too low. So, it's like I'm, I'm just doodling away here. I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing too, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shape this eye so it's a bit more how it should be. That one. That one's not too bad. And then I'll take, I still only really using two brushes. To, okay, I'll take some of that, what is it, Naples Yellow. Try not to get any red in it this time. With some, quite a bit of that purple to just cool it off a bit. And I'll just reshape that eye a bit. That's, that's a better shape. That's a better shape. I remember I um, not to make silly noises as well. Yeah, you know, you kind of concentrate and you also you also can, when you're painting, you can also listen to, you know, podcasts and lectures and stuff, or you can, um, you can sort of, you don't have to concentrate like you do when you're reading a book or something, but you do have to concentrate a bit, like a fair amount too, though, so it's hard to really be coherent little bits. Now I'm getting to the detail bits, you know, where I can really start to make it come alive a bit more and shape things. Like I've got to get into that nose, I think. And um, I've got to kind of also more Concentrate on the getting each mark a bit right now. Warm and cool becomes more important than it was when I first started this. So, um, so I'm looking at that as well now. Warm and cool colours, the tones of colours, um, the tones I'm putting down. Jules. Oh, hello Jules. How are you? Well, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Did you see that on Twitter? Because I just I thought I'd um try and try the Twitter thing because um like I I've only recently started using Twitter again and I think it will be good. It's a good sort of sister or not sister, but you know thing for this Twitch good accompaniment yeah hope you're well done thank you i hope you're well too yes i'm well here pretty good in adelaide we've been really lucky with this corona thing and we don't seem to it doesn't seem to like adelaide very much and doesn't doesn't come here it's like i mean kind of get on top of it very quickly and um, i think because um 
you know, summer's so hot and dry and it's not a good environment for that kind of virus maybe or whatever. But we've, all, we've been good. We've been good. Have you been in lockdown? Yay. Are you out of lockdown is the question. Like, um, it wasn't that for long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fancy that, eh? Hey? I did. I did indeed. So I am just sort of making this little monster here. Um, just as a quick kind of hour painting, hour long painting to because it's so much fun and um, and then I talk a bit of sh shit <laughs> ah good yeah that's good seems like we're all getting back on track really we have to do this we have this app thing now where everywhere we go when we go shopping or whatever we have to um, sign in our details it's like a COVID app and then we can go in and if we don't do that we get a big fine but that's really that's probably about the only thing that's changed for us with that thing here I mean we we had a lot of um, we had a lot of time where we weren't sure what was going on and everything was shut down but it didn't last very long which was good Put that there. Now what? Hmm. I think I'll do the nose a bit more now. <sighs> okay, I'm just looking at this now. Uh, ears probably. So do I need to move this one across? I need to do something here. Move that side of the face across because that's a bit, a bit funny. It's a bit funny. 10.34 it is here. 10.34 a.m. and I think I started around 9.30. So that was um, not the time I started. Yeah. Well, I might go more, more bright in here. I might... Um, I think it would be good to do like a pink cat too. Actually, that's, yeah, maybe I should get some pink out. A bit of this very brilliant magenta colour. Put that out. Play out. That's a bit too cool. I need to mix it with my yellow. point where I need I need another I either need to wash my palette or get another one out or something to make room or maybe I could mix on the back of it that's my other option sometimes I mix on um, paint lids you know because I'm just out of space and it's a bit of a nightmare problems. I'm probably going to have to go down a brush size shortly. I'll go back into those eyes. So what do I reckon? Where to now? Hmm.
more light, I think, more dark there. Lower that side of the face now. I'm just going to put some dark on this other side of the face here. Down here. So I've got that, I've got that. Bring that down a bit. There. And then I want some tone in here too. A little bit there. And a bit behind here. Don't want to lose all that nice colour I've got there though, so I might widen the nose a little bit. And I'm going to have to li really lighten. sides in the shadow. Okay. Now, what? Back to the eyes. When in doubt, go back to the eyes is one philosophy of mine. So I'll do a bit more on those. And this one I'm going to get a little brush. A nice little brush. A nice little soft brush. And I'm going to really do something serious with them. Which means I need some more black paint. Use my green black. Put a little bit of green black on. And I will start with those pupils. Vertical pupils. Very interesting cat's pupils are. And they almost cover the whole eye when when they're focusing on um, you know, getting their prey or whatever it is they they're gonna do. The name of the cat yeah well what would you call a cat like this um, I've got a few cat I've got a cat called um, mango and he's a he's a little ginger little ginger Tom and I've had a cat called Chuff, and he was a big fluffy grey thing. Um, I don't know. Just bring that down there. A little bit more on that. Grover, Grover, mango. Yeah, Grover's a good name for a cat. Little Grover. Um, I had a cat called Marilyn. And that was a, she was a, she was a tabby, she was a girl cat. And she was a nice cat. Had a, uh, what else have I had? Um, I had a cat called Budapest. Grover. Little 
got cats. Julie's having a moment. Ziggy, yeah, Ziggy's a good cat. Good name for cat. Ziggy. Um. So would you like this cat? <laughs> it's quite um when you when you see the process from start to finish, there's a different meaning in it, I reckon. You know, you see. Some more. Oh, I might just grab a. <clears throat> you want to add this <laughs> to your cat collection? Oh, actually, it's on a little. It's on um, a little bit of board, so it is easy transportable by post. If you, if you want it when it's finished. And now I'm going to add some. I'm not. Gonna, I'm just going to lower that, uh, that. You know, it's times like this where you get to the detail and you start whispering, and I understand Bob Ross now, like I never did before, but it makes a lot more sense why he whispered. Because he's, he's, it helps with the concentration. It's pretty weird that it does. Oh, so I might be a bit wide that way. I've got to go a bit wider than that way there. And then I can bring some brown glue down that way. Which is more into that way. Looking at the time symbol. Okay, so that one's a bit smaller. Like that. And I think I need a bit of tone across the middle there. Here now. Now I'm going to get some of that pink I had out. Moe cats. Hello, are you using oils? Hello there, Mo cat. Um, no, I'm not actually. I'm using acrylics. This one's acrylic. I do use oil sometimes. But for this kind of thing, speed painting, um, I use acrylics because it dries nice and quick and I can um, work fast. I mean, you can work fast with oils too, but I can work even faster 
with acrylics. So this is acrylics. Mm. Okay, I made a lot of mistakes to begin with, but I just now now he's coming together. So now I've just sort of slowed down a bit and um, I keep the colour because I kind of like the colour. It's a bit crazy, a bit weird. Okay, so um, hmm. Now what? More highlights, I think. I'm gonna choose another brush. Okay, I'll go down a brush side. I've got some brushes here. I've also got some cold coffee. Okay, some white. I might have to get my titanium white out if I can find it. What did I do with my titanium white? Got paint everywhere. That's in here. Oh, no. Found this and it's not white, it's grey. Actually, it's not a bad grey. I might put a bit of that out anyway. So I have some white decanted. This white. Oh, yes. Do not confuse this oil of Olay with um, actual skin cream. My nana, my nana used to use this skin cream, and I use it as well. And um, and got and so do my kids, my daughters use it. And so we've got so much, many of them. We just have all these empty bottles, so I use it to put paint in. It's the perfect size, and um, you know you don't want to get it confused with. Oh, that's bright. Bright white. I'll just knock it back with a bit of. It's not that much. Ah, oh, that's better. Pink, more pink. Now, move that up there like that. Hmm. I'm gonna push this back a little bit so you can see see what's going on down the bottom here. What's going on down the bottom here? And also, this ear is a little bit. Do I need to, I've got to figure out which one I need to tweak. Um, hmm, might take some of that grey again. Oh, this is a slightly different grey, but that's okay. Come in. Might need to might need to put I might put I might put something on the other side. What though? Some of my bright this colour, maybe. So what I do sometimes is just imagine the colour next to it. Like I hold it up and imagine I wanna I'm, I wanna put something here. And I'm not sure what. So maybe I'll mix up another grey because I, I don't mind that grey. 
and I'm just going to choose a different grey and put that here. Just section that bit off. And then that bit. And just for a bit of fun, what I will do is um, put some orange down here. Oops, and I don't have to. Okay, good. So that bit's good. Now, um, still got a problem here. I feel like I've got a big problem there. It's a big problem, that. Well, it's not that big, but... I need the right tone, so I want to kind of set it back a bit. And then this side, what's the backstory for this cat? Well, not, nothing really. So I, I, I wanted to do um, a speed painting just from start to finish um, on here today. So I thought I would do a cat because they're kind of fun to paint. And I'm familiar with cats painting cats because I've done a few now and so I just found a cat on on the internet and um or well, I found a couple actually and then just chose one and um started painting it today like on when I opened this twitch so I thought I thought I'd because, you know, like, I'm trying to think, um, you know, what's good content to do here that, you know, that will be fun to watch and fun to do. Because sometimes working on my big paintings, I think, you know, it's a bit boring to work. There are more boring stages of painting that, you know, it just takes ages to um, finish them and... You know, you get to these state, these parts in the painting where it just, oh, you, you know, you've got to think. You slow down, you've got to think a lot, and it takes a long time to kind of make any progress. And to me, like, that's pretty boring to watch. Like, I wouldn't like to watch it myself. So then I thought, well, speed painting might be a good, fun thing to just do live. Okay, I know it's right. Oh. But why the cat? Why a cat? Um, I like doing animal portraits. So I like, and so, and for a long time I actually didn't paint cats. I wouldn't paint cats. I painted dogs and I painted birds. So I didn't want to paint cats for some reason. And then I, um, then I painted my first cat and I really, like it worked really really well and um, I, lo I loved it more than I thought I did so I started painting quite a few cats actually but yeah um, well, I don't know just something to paint you know cats are something to paint So for me, like I love portraits, right? I love painting portraits. And um, animal portraits. But it's also, as 
much about the paint, the marks of paint, and um, you know how the paint goes on and what the, the story the paint tells as it is about the thing I'm painting. So um, it's it's kind of yeah. It's as much. It's about the paint. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, does that make sense? No, I know you're not trying to be annoying. I oh, know. Um, I'm not trying to be annoying either. <laughs> I. That's the story of my life. Try not to be annoying, and a lot of the time, I know I'm, I can be really annoying, so I try not to be annoying. Two. Now I need more brown out. More brown. So, can you hear me okay? I'm coming across okay um, with the, with my microphone. Because I, I actually, I bought a microphone and um, I attached it and it was really, it was useless. So I just, I've gone back to this phone microphone. I think it's better. So that's the one I've been using for this. I might invest in a better microphone one day. But um, it's kind of low. Yeah, all right. I, I'll look into that next I think um, getting some kind of oh, I don't know what to do though because I you know I'm always moving around and I don't think I want to wear a headset so maybe I need to attach it to my easel or my palette or something I don't know but I couldn't attach I couldn't figure out how to get my the actual monitor one attached to this like the this one won't my phone one won't but not the monitor one and I can be it's all right if I'm closer isn't it to the phone but it's not that good if I'm far away is it and I tend to talk a bit quietly too sometimes right so now um Never mind. Loud and clear. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, um... And I've got to not mumble. That's my other problem. No mumbling. Whiskers on soon. Two. Quite like that bit. All right, I'll put some. Well, a bit more tiny whiskers. The mumbling's part of the joy. Um. Yeah. So. I'm just going to sorry about this noise. Mumbling to fall asleep to can help you go to sleep again. That's what B was saying yesterday. Oh, I could fall asleep. <laughs> Listen to my mumbling. Yeah. 
do the scratching. Okay. <laughs> okay, some hair on those ears. Now I've got the choice of using either like a thin brush that I could do pointy bits with or a brush I can chisel out the sides to like make go sideways with it. Um, so just decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll start with a thin pointy brush. Actually one of these. So a rigger. This is called this is called a rigger brush. So it's a long thin pointy thing. I'll put some hair in the ears there, so it's a bit of kind of Whoops, too yellow, so we've got to glue that off a bit. Don't want it yellow, that's for sure. No yellow? Right. So come on this way a bit, come that way. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put a nice big one of these. I'll give you some of them. Oh, it's getting a little bit more. Bit more thin. Oh, orange. How do you get that one? No orange. I don't want orange. I want. Kind of. I want some something cooler than orange. So, and it needs to be runny, so I'm putting medium orange. What is this? No, that's better. Scribble it up a bit. There's one there. Um, yeah, I'll grab it out in a minute. I'm just going to put a couple of whiskers in too, just to give it a feel of um, what that's going to look like. A few whiskers. Let's see. Yeah, and these don't have to be done at the last minute because you can put them in again later too you know less is more kind of thing now the background do i want to brighten that up a bit okay i need some more white there i might just get a bit thicker here and a bit there too um, this one can come. No, I don't want that there. There's some dots and spots in there. I might do put a few of these dots in. I haven't got any tone in here, so I need to tone. I need to tone there a bit. So I'm going to use thinner paint, really thin out some tone in blue, and just glaze a bit of that tone over the top, actually, with some medium. I can do that too. Do you roll that in a bit there? Okay. And I'll get that brighter edge. Shaky hand a bit. Let's see if that can go that way. Yeah. Do a reverse one. It's a bit fat that one, so I'm going to thin it down. Thin it down. Let me see if I can thin it. Yeah, maybe not. Colour. Do I want to get more colour in there? Yeah, go on. I think I will. I think I'll put something bright there. Something really, really love, nice and bright. Do we want a bit of colour? Bit of my favourite colour in the world. Be my favourite colour. This would have to be my favourite colour. Mm. Put that there.
do I want to bright do I want to brighten up that eye a bit more I think this time this time I will use power marker time 11 o'clock okay so I'm going to give myself 10 more minutes 10 more minutes and then I'm going to have to go and do get ready for work because I'm working this afternoon I am working, I am teaching, and then I am setting up an exhibition in the gallery. So taking one down and putting up a new one. So that'll be fun. That will be a little bit of fun. And oh, I've got to go into that schnoz. This one is so cute. Oh, thank you, thank you. He's a little cute boy. Now, um, oh, some of that pink and brown mixed together with that blue. Oops, got to get some kind of toning right here for under the nose. I forgot this bit. Right. We'll just work you that in here. And just bit of brown and blue together. Just on that one. What an interesting little schnoz this cat's got. More tone on this side. It's a dear little cat. Little cat. He's waiting for something. Or maybe he's bit of nose up that's looking better. I'm going to bring it in a bit closer now. And there's probably a little bit of detail under there. These little bits of detail are kind of important I reckon at the end, you know, when you're kind of getting it nearly done and you just want to makes it that little bit more amazing when you can oops more white without stuffing it up too much. I mean you can't you don't you really don't stuff it up. There's nothing you can do that can't be fixed I don't reckon. So everything can be fixed. But it just then takes time so I don't want to do it in the minimum time. Did I just do that too much? I think so. I might, I might just. 
Let's go back over there. Some of that brown orange. I said 10 more minutes, didn't I? Ooh, I need that dark bit. This dark bit here. Now, where is that dark bit? It's kind of here, it kind of comes in there. I'm going to mark that. And there's one on this side too. Join down the middle here. I still need to sort of do something to the background. And then I've got to stop. So I'm going to stop. Take a bit of Tone up through here because there is a little bit of tone in there, and then that's a bit darker in that one. Uh, just oh, yeah, and then, then, you, then you get to this point, and you keep seeing little mistakes, little mistakes, little things that need changing. Little things that need highlighting constantly. And it's like, how much do I want to do? How much more do I want do I need to do? Is the question. Always. So what was that? Oh, I was gonna just sort that bit out again. through here. Let's scribble through there. Um, and um, a bit of yellow through there. I'm going for time, 11.15. Three more minutes, I think. Three more minutes. <laughs> and this has been such good fun. Lovely chatting to you all. Thank you so much for popping in and saying hello. Really appreciate it. And um, I do, yes, I do sell my work if, if you, you know, interested in it or whatever. I'm happy to answer any questions. And there's always Twitter and Facebook if I don't get on to, you know. One more thing, one more thing. One more thing. The background. I might just add a little bit more little bit more to the background. Do I fill it all in with blue? Do I fill it all in with a colour, with yellow, with orange? Do I want it bright? I feel like I want it bright. Do I want it cool? Do I want it bright? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. So I think I'm going to just gray but I could you know I could just go over it with bright yellow and it would be super bright colorful I could go over it with that purple do you like the background do you like the gray do you, you like the gray you don't want, it, you don't want a bit of color in there okay the color yeah, okay. 
Grey it is. Do a couple of variations of grey then. So we can just go. Oh, that's nice. A nice bit of green grey. Um, and then I'll just darken it down a bit of that purple in it. And then And then if I just do one more thing, take some of that, I got to do one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, where's my green guy? Uh, oh, there it is. I'm very excited about this. Some of my cobalt turquoise into that grey and I'm going to just sweeten that up a little bit and still see. Right. I will stop now. Until next time. There. There he is. Laska. Okay. Oh. Well, thank you. And I'll see you next time. See you around. And um, good night and all of that. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in and saying hello. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time. See ya.